Hey, what's up YouTube? So in this video, we'll see how you can send documents you have created in Google Drive as attachments in different formats. So basically, if the documents are in Google Drive's local format, which is Google Drive's Excel, they call it spreadsheet, or Google Drive's document format, then you can send them in different formats, HTML, PDF, rich text format, and so on. Let's go ahead and see what are the formats available. So say for example, I have this sample document, um, which is as shown in the icon over here, it's in Google Drive's document format. I select that document and I go in more and share email as an attachment. Now over here, I have the option to send it as HTML, open document, PDF, rich text format, plain text, or even Microsoft Word. So I can select the format how I want to show in attachment. Whatever format I select, the recipient of this email will receive this document in that particular format. If I want that it should be in PDF so that they cannot easily make any changes, I can put it in PDF. The same thing can be done with Excel. Now, if it is in Excel format like this document, this is Microsoft Excel format. I have not converted it to Google spreadsheet format. I won't have these options. We'll see this later on in a few seconds. But if I use a document which is in Google's spreadsheet format like this one, which says spreadsheet, I can select this option and then go and share email as an attachment. And I have the formats over here which are available for Google spreadsheet format so I can send this document as Microsoft Excel document open office spreadsheet or even a PDF document so this is how you can email Google's documents that you have created in Google or that you have converted to Google's local document format when you are uploading the documents to Google Drive and send them as any desired format as you want to but now let's go ahead and see how it happens with Word. So this is a Microsoft Word document, which is in proprietary Microsoft uh, format. It doesn't have Google's local format. I have not yet converted that in Google, Google's local format. So let's see. So this will only allow me to send the attachment as it is. It will not convert the attachment automatically in some other format before it gets sent to anyone. So the same thing applies for Excel. In Excel, if I take this up, this document which is in Microsoft Excel format, and then click on Share and Email as an attachment, even this can be sent in the same format as you have right now, as you have it right now, which is .xlsx, which is Microsoft's proprietary format. And hence, having documents converted into Google's local format, and then you can export that in any format you wish to, is quite beneficial. It is also beneficial in a way that if you have documents converted into Google's local format, they don't count towards the overall storage that you're allowed. So if you're allowed a free storage of 5 GB maybe, then these documents will not count towards that 5 GB storage. Your 5 GB storage will remain intact no matter how many documents you have in Google's local format. Hence, it's quite beneficial actually to have documents converted into Google local format whenever you are uploading them to Google or if you are creating them in Google they will automatically be saved as Google's local format. So thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Bye.